how can the Israeli government defend itself against the charge of genocide when they're constantly talking about committing a genocide or uh, forced relocating uh, Palestinians and the fact that they're indiscriminately bombing people, uh, 22,000 uh, civilians dead, 80% of the infrastructure destroyed, and they're being denied food, water, and medical aid. Uh, the Israeli government is committing a genocide. The UN top court will hold preliminary hearings about whether to order an immediate suspension of Israel's military actions. At issue is whether Israel's war against Hamas in Gaza has amounted to genocide, or has at least laid the groundwork for genocide. As evidence, South Africa points to the mass displacement of 85 percent of the population of the Gaza Strip and their severe lack of humanitarian necessities such as food, medicine and clean water. South Africa also relies heavily on the statements of Israeli ministers and officials that have portrayed Palestinians as subhuman to be collectively punished, as well as... Yeah, that's how Palestinian, I mean, uh, Israeli officials consider Palestinians that they're subhuman, that they're terrorists, that all should be killed, and the land be used by the Israeli government for Israeli citizens. They constantly speak about committing a genocide against the Palestinian people. It's calls for Palestinians to be removed from Gaza and replaced with Israeli settlers. Israel, however, has called South Africa's accusations blood libel. Israel maintains that it's... Right, because somehow the South African government is accusing the Israeli government of using blood for ritual. That's hilarious. Uh, uh, um, uh, calling out the Israeli government for their genocide is not blood libel or anti-Semitic or anything of the sort. It would just it would be no different than calling out Russia for their genocide against the uh, Ukrainian people. Are, are, are people racist because of that? No. This war with Hamas does not approach the boundaries of genocide. Instead, Israel says it is working to protect Palestinian civilians by warning them ahead of strikes, creating safe corridors for people to flee violence, and facilitating humanitarian aid. Right, De denying them humanitarian aid unless forced to uh, allow aid into Gaza isn't facilitating humanitarian aid. Who cares if you give leaflets to people, you're still committing a genocide, and the IDF is big on killing innocent people, especially those that are waving white flags. Israel has no intention of permanently occupying Gaza or displacing its civilian population. Israel is fighting Hamas terrorists, not the Palestinian population. And we Right, which is why he killed 22,000 civilians. They're doing so in full compliance with international law. If the International Court of Justice decides to compel Israel to halt its military operations in Gaza, that would be legally binding under international law. However... Yeah, however, will the Israeli government abide by international law? Because so far, they have not been whatsoever. The ICJ has no means of enforcing its rulings. They are sometimes completely ignored, as evidenced by its demand that Russia stop its invasion of Ukraine.